Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well today. I'm bringing you a video that is unlike anything I've done before, I think. I don't believe I've done a video that was of this nature. But anyway, I took a player, made them 99 overall, and assigned them to the Seattle Kraken because it's easy cop-out new team, you know, just is what it is. But yeah, I made a player here that was starting out at the tallest and heaviest I could make them. And then I simulated 15 years, but the thing is, I simulated the first year 15 times so that nothing would change. I wanted to make sure that the variables were all the same. And I'll show you that when I do the lines here for the shortest and lightest player I could make as well. So the first 15 years, and in hindsight, I feel like 15 was a pretty big sample size. I probably could have done 10 and would have been all right, but... Let's go ahead and jump into this anyway here. We're already in year one. And of course, yeah, a couple trophies there for the kid. He is 99 overall. Still couldn't make it out of the first round though. But the second year, and once again, this is the, still the first year of the NHL. Because what I did was I disabled autosave and saved it when I was ready to start simulating. And as soon as the year was done, I would just exit without saving and jump back in. So it's the exact same year simulated over and over and over again. And it's also very interesting to see the variance, you know, just how different the exact same year can simulate. I turned off computer trades and everything as well, so that pretty much the whole league was static. That was my main objective here, because I wanted to take out as many variables as possible to strictly test this one piece of information, which is the size of the player. So anyways, it's been quite a lengthy intro. There's already been some years going on in the background here, but let's start to focus on it a little bit more. So Monix had 19 playoff games this year, put up 19 points in those games, point a game in the playoffs, wins himself the Calder Trophy as well as the Rocket Richard, and the team is deleted by Chicago in the conference finals. Now in year number five, which is still year one of the NHL, the team finishes third in the league. Monix leads the team again with 102 points. Seven playoff games this year with nine points out of him. New Jersey are going to take home the Stanley Cup. Monix will win himself the Richard and the Calder, which are definitely the two most common trophies to be won for this individual. In year number six, team finishes seventh. Monix puts up 105 points with 69 goals. Six games played in the playoffs, six points and a dash four. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are Stanley Cup champions this year. An Art Ross for Monix, as well as a Calder. And once again, a Rocket Richard. The team would not make it out of the first round, however, as the Golden Knights would best them in six. Now year number seven, the team finishes eighth with 98 points. Monix would put up 118 with a plus 29 and once again, 69 goals. He played a lot of playoff games this year, 21, or at least more than usual, and put up 26 points, but the Lightning would win the Stanley Cup. Definitely a few trophies here for Monix again, but I am going to be keeping track of all of that in a stats thing at the end here. They almost made it to the finals there. It was very close, but they just couldn't do it. And then this year, they didn't even make the playoffs. They finished fifth in their division. Monix still put up 114, though, with 70 goals, so he definitely did his job. You know, he... He carried his weight for the team, that's for sure. You can't deny that, and I'm just going to show you the playoff tree anyway because, like I said, it's pretty interesting to see the similarities and variances when you simulate the exact same year, exact same situation over and over and over again to see how different it really can be. And right off of a season of not making the playoffs, they go on to win the Stanley Cup this year, and on top of that, there was 30 points from Monik, so he's going to win himself the Conn Smythe this time around as well. An absolute insane year, and they didn't even really struggle, except for round number one, which is normally where they struggle because they get put out there often. And then after that, they would finish mid-pack. Monix puts up 101 with 61 goals, played 10 playoff games, and got 16 points in those games. Chicago wins the Stanley Cup. Monix would win the Calder again, and he also won the Hart there, a few others as well. And the team would be deleted by the Ducks in round number two, a sweep. Year number 11, they don't make the playoffs again, finishing fifth in the division. Monix only put up 86 points this year and was a dash 13, which is very, very interesting. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup, and on top of that, the only trophy 
that Ed Monix won was the Calder. And you can see here, the playoff tree does not include Seattle. Embarrassing. But then the following year, they finished fourth in the league. Monix was up 119, was a plus 49, and had 70 goals. Talk about variance. Holy crap. This guy can have an awful season or you could be absolutely insane. You can do it all, all right? Get you someone that can do it all. But I guess that you don't really want it in that context because you want someone that is consistently good. Regardless, first round exit to the Blues. And in year number 13, the Kraken finished 12th in the league. Monix puts up 109, plus 30 and 65 goals. 20 points in 12 playoff games. The Golden Knights are the Stanley Cup champions this time around. And it was another very successful individual year trophy-wise for Edward Monix. But playoffs, round two, team gets destroyed. They barely made it into the playoffs this year, finishing 17th in the league. Monix still did pretty well, though, for the Kraken. And he put up 33 points in 23 playoff games for their second Stanley Cup of the larger player. But we are coming to an end here of our 15 years. In fact, we are going to be entering year number 15. As you can see here, they swept the Panthers in the finals. So here it is, year 15. They win the President's Trophy this year with 114 points, 53 wins. Monix with 118 and 72 goals. I always find it insane how much these creative players score. It's absolutely out of control. But the Washington Capitals would win the Stanley Cup. So although they won the Presidents, they weren't able to take home a third Stanley Cup here. But on that note, it is time to get into the other player. So I didn't change anything. The only two factors that I changed were the height and weight. I'm just kind of going through here to show you that, you know, all of the X factor slash abilities are the same. All the rules for the franchise are the same. And yeah, the attributes are all the same as well. The weird thing is, is I made sure the lines were identical to what was in the previous simulation. But for some reason, the chemistry was a little bit different. But anyway, um, the team will finish eighth in their first year with 44 wins. Monix puts up 97 points and 60 goals and puts up 10 and 10 for the playoffs this year. The Toronto Maple Leafs are Stanley Cup champions and an Art Ross trophy for Edward Monix in year number one, a Rocky Richard as well. Team gets bested by the Oilers in round number two getting swept in fact 48 wins in year two will get them fourth in the league monix puts up 89 points this year which is still a great year but slow for him and he absolutely destroys it in the playoffs putting up 28 in 17 but it still wasn't good enough for his team to win the stanley cup as they were eliminated by the colorado avalanche in the conference finals and now we are in year number three. Team finishes fourth in the league. For some reason, I, I I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the years and the place they finish seem to be very close or like one off far too frequently. But regardless, Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. Monix had a pretty solid year overall. Gets the Rocket Richard again there. Team would be eliminated by the Canucks in round one, but they did push it to seven. And again, they finished fifth this year, and it's year four. All right, this is starting to trip me out a little bit, but 67 goals for Monix, and he was a like plus 26. Only 10 points in 13 playoff games, which is very strange. The Edmonton Oilers are going to take home the Stanley Cup, but it was a very successful season for Monix and the Kraken. They made it to round number two, where the eventual Stanley Cup winning Oilers would eliminate them. Yo, what is going on? Year five, they finish sixth. Monix, 67 goals, 118 points, and 34 points in 25 playoff games. They did win the Stanley Cup. So it's the first one of this half of the simulation. They beat the Carolina Hurricanes in the finals there. Very intense playoff run for them. Seattle Kraken finished 29th this year. So that's not even close to the year that we're in. 93 points from Monix. Definitely not one of the better simulated years here, but it still gets the Calder. Not surprising considering he is a rookie who won the Rocket Richard. And here is the playoff tree that is Krakenless. This year, the Kraken finished 12th with 94 points and 43 wins. We did not see 100 points out of Monix again. Just shy puts up 99, but puts up 15 in 12 playoff games. They did not win the Stanley Cup, but... An Art Ross 
and a couple other trophies for Edward this year. They were eliminated by the Edmonton Oilers in round two, taking six games. Now, your number eight, the Kraken, will finish 12th with 42 wins on the season. Monix just shy of 100 points again, 99 this year, and 63 goals. Played 27 playoff games and put up 35 points. But they did not win the Stanley Cup, surprisingly. The Tampa Bay Lightning still got the better of them. But what an absolute legendary playoff run that was. Crazy amount of points, especially for that amount of games played. And then the next year, they don't make the playoffs. They finished 23rd. Now we're not even close to the years anymore. It just completely offset. But still, 102 points on the season from Ed. And he will win the Art Ross with that, as well as the Maurice Rocket Richard. Here is the Krakenless playoffs once again. And yeah, we are already in the double digits. Year 10. They finished second in the league this time. 10750 wins. Monix puts up 124 with a plus 32. 13 playoff games this year and 15 points. Tampa Bay wins the Stanley Cup again. And another art and heart for Ed Monix. He also wins the Calder there and the Ted Lindsay plus the Richard. What a year. Imagine that as a rookie. That would just be... I, that will never happen. I'm just going to say that. Fifth is where the Kraken place in year number 11. Monix, 93 points. And in playoffs, struggled a bit here. I mean, he was almost point a game, but considering. You know, it's all relative compared to the other years. So, yeah, not really a successful playoff year for him. They got eliminated by the Predators in round number one, only taking five games. Now we are in year 12. They finish sixth this time. 102 points, and 118 points will come from Monix with 84 goals. 84 goals. <laughs> that is insane. That will also never happen. Well, it might have happened back in the day, but it's never going to happen again, I don't think. Um, the Oilers destroy them in round one, taking six games. Year number 13, the team finishes ninth in the league, 42 wins. Monix with 102 67 goals this time, 29 points in 20 playoff games, and the Stanley Cup goes to Colorado. But once again, Edward Monix is cleaning up at the award show. Team made it to the conference finals against the Colorado Avalanche, but they were defeated by the eventual Stanley Cup winners in seven games there. Year 14, they finish sixth in the league. We see 60 goals and 52 assists for 112 points. We only got six playoff games out of the Kraken this year, five points. From Eddie, Colorado wins another cup. And, you know, it's still a pretty solid year in terms of trophies for Monix there. We got a first round exit from the Edmonton Oilers in six games this time. And we are entering the final year. It's a bad one. They got 39 wins, did not make the playoffs. 86 points out of Monix was well, still a plus nine. But yeah, not a very successful year. A Calder Trophy for Eddie and a Maurice Rocket Richard in the final year. Here is the Krakenless playoffs, and here are some stats. So overall, I would probably say that no, I don't think the size of the player matters whatsoever in terms of the simulation, because the stats are relatively close in terms of a 15-year <laughs> sample size. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out and just say that I do not think that size does in fact affect the simulation. The only stat that was pretty drastically different was plus minus, um, where, you know, when we had the smaller player, they had an average plus minus of 25, and then the larger player had an average plus minus of 18.7. So yeah, that's the only spot I really see, you know, a significant difference. And when we look at the playoffs, I really don't see anything substantial either. So yeah, it's pretty much going to boil down to a no. I think it does not affect the simulation. But uh, if you guys have anything else you want me to check, you know, like a specific attribute or I don't know, just anything. If you have anything you want me to check, I'm probably going to do a 10-year sample size next time because 15 was maybe a little dramatic. But yeah, I thought this was kind of interesting. I thought it was a cool concept. And we basically found out that it doesn't matter if you are the shortest and lightest player in the league or the tallest and heaviest player in the league. It's not going to change how you simulate. So, yeah, there's that. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you. And I will catch you soon.